Okay, so I saw a tweet earlier that says that artists and teams want to skip steps and that's why they don't have no fan base. I do feel like there are many people like me who appreciate the hard work that creatives put in. But I do think the more that consumers got lazy, the more artists teams started to find loopholes and ways to make more money while having to do less. I mean, I grew up on shows like Making a Band and Access Granted and stuff like that that showed the behind the scenes of artists having to work hard to make something, right? But now access to a lot of these, these creatives are at the palm of our hands, right? So a lot of the labels don't have to put in a lot of money behind them because you just need to get on your own phone that you pay your own phone bill for and create. I also feel like many have gotten very sensitive and it has blurred the lines between deciphering, giving grace versus authenticity, giving constructive criticism versus being called a hater or being a bully or whatever. If you watch a lot of my brand breakdowns, I always champion authenticity. But honestly, I have seen more people give grace and excuses to artists who are working backwards who will literally just hop on a big ass stage and have no type of rehearsals or do uh, interviews with no media training versus an artist that we see working their way up perform at smaller venues and then go into open up for bigger artists and so forth and so forth we used to be able to watch funny videos or memes or whatever, go to school and then laugh about it with our friends and leave it at that for a moment, right? Like Ice JJ Fish had his moment. But in today's day and age, I really feel like if Ice JJ Fish was to put some auto tune behind his voice, hop on a drill beat or whatever, lo and behold, he might hit the charts. <laughs> I think we're getting back to appreciating real effort because the numbers in the engagement and excitement behind some of these artists who do ignorant things versus their ticket sales are very telling. The economy is not the best right now. And even if you are doing, you know, fairly well or whatever, you still want your money's worth. So we want to spend money on a good quality experience from these artists. So yeah, we could hee hee ha ha laugh on the internet, but when it comes to seeing you in person, is it really worth it? Or am I going to save my coins for somebody who is worth it, like a Beyonce? I'm predicting that we're stepping more into the moments of going back to appreciating constructive criticism and being real about it and loud about it um, and deciphering who is for the moment versus who you need to support in their longevity of giving not only quality music, but a quality experience that is worth your money.